sick. These tragic and grave set of circumstances allow us to ask a very important and philosophical question. When you feel like Shrek's asshole, how do you live like the evil Disney queen that you are, bitch? In this video, I will detail the steps and procedures you will need to take to turn your crusty red nose into the poreless, moisturized one of an angel. In this video, I will detail how to turn spicy poos into your redemption. In this video, I will explain how to go from dried out, snotty, mucus-filled, haggard old rumpled stiltskin into the fucking queen from Snow White before she became the ugly ass old lady, bitch! First of all, I drink some of this. Does it look like I'm drinking a hungover person's pee? 100%. Drink that pee, bitch. Inside, turmeric, ginger, cayenne, fresh thyme, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, honey, bitch. You drink so much of this shit that every time you poo, it feels like you're squeezing out entire jalapeno peppers. Every time you take a sip, it must burn your throat like you're drinking acid. That just means it's working. Mmm, pain. But I bet you're asking, Amelia, what else do I need to be sick like a queen? I'm glad you asked, friends. Here's what you'll need. Items. Now your urge when you have this cold is going to be to put on the crustiest and ugliest thing that you own. Do not listen to this urge. You put on the most fucking queenly thing that you own, bitch. No, do not walk around naked in crusty gym shorts. Travesty. You treat this cold like it is a fashion icon. Yes, wear your feather boat in the rain. Is it gonna get ruined? Probably. Does it matter? No. You deserve it. You need it. You're a queen. Just because you feel like Princess Fiona's intestinal tract doesn't mean you can't look like fucking Maleficent. Put on your orange eyeliner that burns your eyes like acid. You need it. Put on the goddamn biggest feather boa that you have and cover it in snot. Because that, my queens, is how to live the real life. Embrace your cold. Surrender to your cold. But also, dress it up like as a boss bitch. Put on so much moisturizer that when people look at you, they say, that bitch is going from the inside out. And you say, mm-hmm, when really, your insides look like Shrek's morning bowel movement. When being sick like a queen, you must be a trickster. The number one most important thing about having a cold like a queen. Items. 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 Yes, bitch, you must get a great deal of items. As many items as you possibly can. Do the items matter? Not really. They don't really do anything. But you need them. A bitch queen who has a cold has a great deal of items, and she has a great deal of minions who give them to her. Now I understand many items can get very pricey. This is why I suggest you steal your items, bitch. And not just from stores, from your family and friends. Steal items. Do you know some Lux bitch who has oregano oil? Steal it. You need it. You're a fucking queen, and you have a fucking cold, and everyone has to cater to that. Um, do you have a friend who knows a really dope hangover pea colored cold cure tea recipe? Um. Go to that bitch's house and start whining. Uh, know of any moms nearby? Doesn't have to be your mom. Do you know of any moms nearby? Go to that mom's house. Go to that mom's house and cough in her vicinity. She's gonna get you some items. Hello there, Pickle Palace. Do you have some items for me? I think that you do. Items. 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 <laughs> items! Items, items, items. Items! <gasps> Queen life, it's not an easy life. Not gonna lie to you. Especially under circumstances like these. <coughs> Your nose is crusty. You got that, that post nasal drip. But I gotta tell you, dedication to the Queen life is of the utmost importance. Are you a queen if you use a piece of fabric as your snot rag? No. You use feathers, bitch. You need some texture. Some faux fur, if you will. <sighs> now I tell you, I become an extreme bitch when I'm sick. It is not pleasant to be around me. But looking back on it, I can't believe some of the things that I did to my roommates that I lived with when I was sick. But you know what? That's the way it is. If you're going to be a diva bitch, these things are going to happen. You're going to feel shitty. You're going to become a tyrant. And it's okay. Being a sick bitch tyrant is part of what being a queen is about. Find the people who will love you no matter what and boss them around. Get them to make you some lip and chicken noodle soup. Right now. Get yourself someone to fucking complain to. Get yourself someone to fucking complain to who won't just be like, look on the positive side, shut up. Get someone that you can complain to about your fucking stuffy nose 
that will be like, yeah, bitch, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to you. This is terrible. And get someone who's a fucking enabler. Get someone who, when you go to them and start complaining, oh, but I, I only have enough money for rent, but I need these items. What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna suffer without these items so I can be responsible and pay rent? Get yourself the fucking friend who's gonna be like, bitch, you need the items. If you don't have the items, you're gonna die. Get the fucking items right now. Don't worry about the landlord. We're just gonna dodge his calls for a few weeks. Call it a day. If you don't have these items immediately, I'm gonna punch you in the face. That is the kind of friend that you need. You find that friend and you treasure them. And then go out and spend all of your rent money on useless items. I guess. Slap on some moisturizer. Put on your fanciest ball gown. Get a boa bitch. Paint that drag makeup. And get some motherfucking useless goddamn items. Consume those items. Rub those items all over your skin. And revel in how to cold like a queen.